I have really grown to love dungeon crawling games, especially since I started playing Shattered Pixel Dungeon. That really got me into the classic side of this genre overall, and now I've discovered another game that kind of reminds me of that classic dungeon crawling formula. That game is Dungeons of Dreadrock. Let's get right into it. I love the pixel art style of Dungeons of Dreadrock. It's definitely detailed, I love the animations, they're smooth, and it just kind of reminds me of Zelda overall, which is always a great sign because that's a very polished franchise. Now what really began to impress me as I played this game is that this game is fully voice acted when it comes to its actual storyline. There's a narrator, and the narrator does a really good job, and the writing of this game is actually really well done too. So that really added to my experience overall, and I love the fantasy scores and all of the sound effects, especially the music, it really took me aback at how good it is while playing with headphones. So really pleasantly surprised with the looks and sound design of this game. Dungeons of Dreadrock is split into levels. Now these levels consist of random floor layouts and they can consist of traps, enemies, and various obstacles that you have to get through to get to the next floor of the dungeon. Now with this, you are maneuvering one space at a time on an invisible grid, similar to classic dungeon crawling games. Now there's enemies that will follow you around and all these enemies have different attack styles and different maneuvers. So some of them will move two spaces in comparison to your one. Sometimes there's huge ogres that you just can't kill and you have to run away from them. And there's spiders that will try to trap you with their webs from a distance. So there's a lot of enemies that kind of mix up the formula and the booby traps makes it so that you have to think through your moves every single time so that you don't get killed by the booby traps either so there's a unique puzzle like element where you have to do things in a certain order or in a certain way in order to survive I really appreciated the level design of most of these levels. They introduce new mechanics almost every level, and then they mix them together to create new experiences and make you strategize in different ways than you have before. It was really clever, and I feel like it's at the perfect pace. I also want to stress again that this feels a lot like a puzzle game. This has those classic dungeon crawling elements in it with its movement as well as the dungeon layouts and the new enemies that you encounter, but it feels a lot more like a puzzle game because you're not having to fiddle with all of those role playing game elements such as gear and stats. Now the controls of this game are super simple. You basically swipe in whatever direction you want to move your character, and then you swipe and hold if you want them to continue in that direction. And you use those same control schemes in order to attack enemies, flip switches, and manipulate things. Dungeons of Dreadrock is a free game to download, however you will have to watch ads after about 5 to 6 levels, but they're very unobtrusive and they don't happen very often, and you can skip them after a certain amount of time. There is also an in-app purchase for $1.99 to remove all ads and make this a completely premium experience. Dungeons of Dreadrock is a classic dungeon crawling game with a heavy emphasis on puzzle-like gameplay, and I really ended up enjoying it. It has a certain indie charm about it, and I really appreciated how the game slowly added on new game mechanics that I had to learn and strategize about on the fly. It really is a fun romp, and you have nothing to lose by trying it out. The link to the game is in the description down below. All right, guys, that was my review for Dungeons of Dreadrock. Don't forget to leave a like, pop a sub, and comment. It really helps out small channels like mine, and I appreciate you watching to the end of the video. If you want more content from me, check out any of the links in the description down below. I hope you guys are staying safe, and take it easy.